Addison's disease was first reported by Thomas Addison. It is still being widely reported from various parts of the world. Which of the following is the most common cause of Addison's disease in India? A. Tuberculous adrenalitis. B. Postpartum pituitary insufficiency. C. Autoimmune adrenalitis. D. HIV infection of adrenals. The correct answer here is tuberculous adrenalitis. So Edison's disease was first reported by Thomas and Edison. It is still being widely reported from various parts of the world. The most common cause of Edison's disease in India is tuberculous adrenalitis. So the most common cause of Edison's disease in India is tuberculous adrenalitis. Treatment of choice for Kawasaki disease is A. IV immunoglobulin B. Steroids C. Tapson D. Methotrexate The correct option here is IV immunoglobulin. So the treatment of choice for Kawasaki disease is IV immunoglobulin. The treatment of choice in Kawasaki disease is intravenous immunoglobulin. Which of the following is the most specific test for rheumatoid arthritis? Most specific test for rheumatoid arthritis. A. Anti-CCP antibody. B. Anti-IgM antibody. C. Anti-IgA antibody. D. Anti-IgG antibody. So the correct option here is anti CCP antibody. Now, anti CCP antibodies are the most specific blood test for rheumatoid arthritis. Anti cyclic citronellated peptide, that is, anti CCP antibody testing, is particularly useful in the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis with high specificity. Presence early in the disease process and ability to identify patients who are likely to have severe disease and irreversible damage. Anti-CCP antibody have not been found at a significant frequency in other diseases to date and are more specific than rheumatoid factors for detecting rheumatoid arthritis. So the correct option is anti-CCP antibody. So you can WhatsApp me on 9483652020 and ask any question. You can join my free Neat PG Masterclass. And if you join that WhatsApp group, you will get a lot of free bonuses and content for your preparation. All of the following are present in superficial perineal pouch except A. Sphincter urethry muscle B. Bulbospongiosis C. Posterior scrotal nerve D. Duct of bulbo-urethral nerves The correct option here is sphincter urethry muscles. 
So root, crura, and bulba of penis. Bulbospongiosis muscles, ducts of bulbourethral glands, posterior scrotal nerve. These are the contents of superficial perineal pouch. Now deep perineal pouch contains bulbourethral glands, membranous urethra, sphincter urethry muscle that is internal urethral sphincter, and dorsal nerve of penis. Which of the following clinical features of demyelinating myelopathy least likely suggest a progression of multiple sclerosis? A. Complete cord transection. B. Bilateral visual loss. C. Absence of the oligoconal glands. And D. Poor prognosis. So what do you think is the correct option here? Absence of oligoclonal bands. Now, oligoclonal bands are variable, but when bands are present, a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis is more likely. Thus, absence of oligoclonal bands suggests a less likely progression to multiple sclerosis. The following are the components of brown sicard syndrome except ipsilateral extensor plantar response, ipsilateral pyramidal tract involvement, contralateral spinothalamic tract involvement, contralateral posterior column involvement. So contralateral posterior column involvement. So what happens in brown sicard syndrome is there is a hemisection of spinal cord. It leads to loss of joint position and vibratory sense. So there is a posterior column involvement on the ipsilateral side, on the ipsilateral side and not on the contralateral side. So in brown sacral syndrome, there is a hemisection of spinal cord, ipsilateral involvement of corticospinal tract. So there is ipsilateral loss of motor power, ipsilateral involvement of posterior column, that is ipsilateral loss of joint position and vibration sense, contralateral involvement of spinothalamic tract, so contralateral loss of joint position and vibratory sense, segmental signs such as radicular signs, pain, muscle atrophy and loss of deep tendon reflexes. All of the following statement about SIADH are true except a serum sodium is low typically less than 135 milli equivalent per liter b urinary sodium excretion is low or normal water loading test may be used d waftans are new fda approved agents for treatment of siadh let us look what is the correct option urinary sodium excretion is low or normal so what are the cardinal features of siadh they are hyponatremia, that is dilutional hyponatremia with Na plus less than 135 millimole per liter, decreased plasma osmolality, increased urine osmolality, that is 150 milliosmol, high urine sodium over 20 milli equivalent, low blood urea nitrogen, less than 10 milligram per liter, and hypouricemia. These are the clinical features of SIADH. Hyponatremia, dilutional hyponatremia with Na plus less than 135 millimole per liter. Decreased plasma osmolality, that is increased urine osmolality, high urine sodium, low blood urea nitrogen, and hypouricemia.